In this post, we're going to talk about how to test for low stomach acid. Previously, we talked about how to test yourself for leaky gut, or at least get an idea of if you might have leaky gut or not. In this quick post, we're going to discuss how to test yourself to see if you have enough stomach acid. This is one of the many reasons that you will often hear how good apple cider vinegar is for you. Stomach acid has many different functions. Some of the primary roles are to break down protein into amino acids so they can be absorbed and utilized. Amino acids are really important for a lot of different things. Stomach acid also aids in the digestion and absorption of certain nutrients and minerals, such as magnesium, think leg cramps and relaxation, sodium, think blood pressure and adrenal fatigue, and iron, think anemia, or decreased ability to carry oxygen. HCl, or hydrochloric acid, also acts as a disinfectant aiding your body in the fight against all those sick bugs we get exposed to on a daily basis in our foods. Think about when we eat out, how many people are hand handling that food and where it's been along the way. Kind of a scary thought. Low stomach acid levels have been noted to increase the risk of someone getting H. pylori and Vibrio, infections of the digestive tract. So if you get sick a lot, you might want to check your stomach acid levels. As a little side note, Many people that have gastric ulcers or acid reflux often get put on PPIs, proton pump inhibitors. I encourage you to do some research on the side effects of these drugs. They aren't all they cracked up to be, but that's another thing for another post. Often, I will say, these people often have too little HCL, not too much, but this is a detour we're not gonna take right now. I have that scheduled for a future post, so keep tuned in. So here's what you do, and this is my particular approach, and there are many doctors that have different ways of doing it. First, you're going to have to get yourself some HCL, betaine HCL. Don't use apple cider vinegar. First, it'll be too hard to figure out exactly what your dosage might be, and second, you might drinking, end up drinking a whole bunch of it, which isn't too tasty. So now you have your betaine HCL, or your artificial stomach acid. Over the next few days, you're going to take varying amounts of the HCL pills until you get a reaction. You're going to test it by taking the pill and or pills before the largest meal of the day. I usually recommend doing the same meal every day or the same time of meal. Make sure this meal has a protein. Remember, HCL or protein uses HCL to be broken down. So if you have a response and you eat the protein, the symptoms should go away. The type of response you should feel is a slight warming, discomfort, or upset, upset stomach, almost like a heartburn or acid reflux type feeling. So on the first day of the test, you take one pill 15 to 20 minutes before the meal. If you don't feel any symptoms, the next day you will take two pills before the meal. And continue on like that until you get to the point that you actually feel some symptoms. This will tell you how well or poorly your stomach acid levels are. So this is what we're essentially testing. Let's say your stomach acid levels should be here. Let's say you are here. We take more stomach acid, we should have symptoms. Now let's take somebody that's uh, HCL deficient. You should be here, you're here. What we wanna to try to find out is how much stomach acid is it gonna take you to get to here? So if you're down here, you take one pill, no symptoms. Two pills, no symptoms. Three pills, ah, symptoms. Or it might be one pill, no symptoms, two pills, no symptoms. Oftentimes you can get up to even five, 10. I've had patients go up to 15 pills uh, before they get any reaction or anything like that. So I don't recommend going over uh, five on your own. Get some guidance, give me a call if you need to, um, but take it easy and take it slow. So now that you have a general idea of how much stomach acid or lack of stomach acid you have, uh, in a future blog, we're going to be discussing what you need to do about it. So keep tuned in. If you need a little help and guidance in your quest for better health, give my office a call. I'd love to help you. Until next time, I'm Dr. Craig Mortensen. Be healthy. Be happy.